Hello, thank you for joining me, and uh, welcome. This is uh, video number eight uh, in regard to rendering. It's taken us uh, eight or you know seven videos to get to this point, but now we're ready to ready to dig into the meat and potatoes of rendering and uh, take a look at this. So, rendering. Go to view. Go to the render button, which looks like a tea kettle, teapot, something like that. Scroll down in that, and what it does is it gives you some options. What we're going to do is just pick some very basic options. You start from the top to the bottom, kind of work your way down. Yes, we want to render, but we're going to hit that button last. It would seem more appropriate to have that button on the, on the bottom, but yeah, that's the button we're going to hit last. And uh, at first, we're just going to do some draft settings. Uh, we want just a basic, uh, you know, highly pixelated... Uh, you know, image rendering here, and if it kind of looks the way we like it, then we can do something that's a little bit more uh, substantial, low resolution or medium resolution resolu or rendering after that. So we have a couple different uh, options down here. You can render to the screen, or you can render to a printer if you like, send it right to a printer, or you can print it to a file perhaps. Lighting, you want to kind of pay attention to this. We don't want to do just exterior sun, because uh, the sun settings outside are a little bit different than sun settings inside. We want to do interior sun and artificial light too. So we want to have both of those together. Oop, not exterior, but you want to do interior sun and artificial lights. And sun settings, we want to do in session lighting. So remember how we set the sun a couple videos back for December 21st right about noon. So we want to keep that, but if you want to change that, you're welcome to do that. You can change your azimuth and altitude settings uh, from what's uh, already in there. And um, some other ones you could do a uh, solar study if you like single day, multi day uh, lighting. Uh, we're not going to get into that in any more detail. And presets you could do uh, a sun from the top left or from the top right if you like. And I believe you can define more of those if you like. And uh, the ground plane at level is going to be in the basement, and that's okay too. So you know, rather than have the ground plane at uh, the first floor, which you come into the windows. Uh, which uh, with a much uh, shallower angle, the basement is actually a little bit more real realistic to our model right now. So we're going to go to OK. And I don't know if you know what an azimuth is, but azimuth is the angle from the north. So it goes all the way around, uh, you know, from the north uh, to 135 degrees. So you know, 90 degrees would be off to uh, like a uh, rising in the east, and then 180 degrees would be um, uh, would be right about noonish. So that's that's what azimuth means. So. Anyways, enough said here. We're going to go to OK and continue on. Uh, artificial lights. This gives you the ability to suck which lights you want on. Remember, we talked about the lights in the, the sconces in the kitchen. We only see two out of three here, but we're going to keep all those on. You can turn some, turn some off and turn some on if you like. Which is a nice uh, little enhancement there. So background. few clouds, maybe. How about very few clouds? Or no clouds at all? And then we're well done. We're going to adjust the exposure. Let's go ahead and render this and see what this looks like. So it gives you a little bit of dialog box up in front. It's a little bit off the screen here. Can't really bring that back for some reason. But um, it'll show you the progress on this thing. And it begins to render the screen. It goes through a couple different iterations. The first iteration is highly pixelated. And, uh, and then it goes through a second iteration where it uh, puts a lot more finer uh, details in there with finer resolution as you go. OK, there we go. Now it's starting. Uh oh. Looks like it's black. Like somebody turned the lights off and the sun, too. We'll see if this improves. Sometimes, <laughs> if you stay in that camera view too long, especially on my computer, it doesn't render correctly. Now, if that's the case, if you're finding a situation like this where it isn't uh, uh, quite coming out the way you expect, if it's a dark room, then uh, go ahead and go to a different view and then come back to that uh, camera view and then uh, go ahead and redo it. So it looks like it's working correctly now. So you notice it comes in highly pixelated initially, it does large blocks and splotches, and then it will become a little bit more fine-tuned on the second iteration as it makes a second pass. So you can see some details. It's actually too highly pixelated to see really much of anything. But the dining room furniture uh, as downloaded off of um, Autodesk Seek, I think, or Revit City is green in color, so I know what I'm looking at there. So, just waiting. You can see the skylight in the center in the upper part of the picture. Now it comes through in a second uh, pass. And kind of cleaning it up a little bit. 
The areas that have a lot more detail take a little bit longer to do, of course. A flat wall without any color on it. Goes a little bit quicker. There it goes a little bit, yeah, it goes a little bit quicker. On that second pass, you can see the skylight. So that's not too bad. That's not too bad. It kind of lights up uh, fairly well. The trophy lights really don't uh, show a lot on the table, but if we had those things turned off, it would be a lot less than what we see. It would be a lot darker, very similar to what we see in the hall back here. So one thing you got to keep in mind is that the sun is many factors more bright, many factors brighter than uh, in um, artificial lights on the inside, and maybe and that could be expected in uh, real life too. So you want to take that in consideration. So we'll go through some more of these settings here in the next film.